This is the Mercedes Formula E team launch in Frankfurt yesterday. I caught up with Ola Kalinius briefly after his Mercedes presentation and I've also dropped in a clip from I think it's almost three years ago where Ola talks about how Formula E and Formula One reconcile with each other and that's exactly what Toto Wolf said in this interview so Whatever hope you enjoy it. You're delivering and tomorrow it's the Formula E team. Yeah, more to come. More Fantastic. To come. Good to see you. Good. Thank you. Uh, Toto, good afternoon. Uh, I mentioned there 125 years in motorsport. Let's get started. It's obviously pretty important, but how important is motorsport to Mercedes-Benz? Well, it's very easy to answer. Like we always say, our core business is building road cars and building race cars. The first ever Mercedes was a racing car, and here we go. We are embarking on a, on a new mission, on an electric mission. We mentioned again 125 years ago, it was the racing cars that really drove the development of those uh, production cars at the time. What can the production series, do you think, learn now from your motorsport activities? Racing for us is the fastest research lab. Everything we learn, be it in the Formula E or Formula One, um, is in some way translated into road series. In order to be successful in Formula E, you need to have the most efficient powertrain, and this is exactly the same for our uh, range. If you want to win in Formula One today, the pinnacle of motorsports, if you don't have the best integrated electric powertrain combined with a combustion powertrain, you're not going to win. And that's what we have had uh, the good luck of uh, managing the last three seasons with uh, double championships. So it is a test bed for new innovative technologies under extreme conditions, absolutely extreme conditions. So we can learn in that field and, of course, create the fascination of the bus uh, of the uh, race drivers fighting for the championship. On the other One of the things that we've seen over the last uh, number of years is fans and media alike trying to sort of play off Formula One and Formula E as competitor series. Where did the two sit for you? Two totally different propositions. Formula One is a sport that exists since 60, you will know better, 60, 70 years? Well, it's 1950, so 69 years. Yeah, 60, 69 years. Uh, has an audience of uh, 2 billion every year, around 100 million live views every single race, uh, and is a truly global sport. It's premium, it's like, it's like Mercedes Benz cars. And on the other side of the spectrum, uh, you have our exciting startups, and uh, Daimler is very active in, in, in startups, and we're looking at um, the future. Um, and uh, car to go always comes into my mind. We're doing car to go, and we're doing Mercedes premium cars. And somehow, Formula E is such an exciting young startup. It taps new audiences. It's urban. It is has a festival character, an event character character and on top of that exactly formula e drivers stoffel van dorn and nick de vries exciting day uh, to kick off here and launch this new team. Stoffel, uh, you've already, of course, had a season in Formula E with HWA Race Lab under your belt. What are your expectations going into this season one with Mercedes? Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, first of all, uh, obviously extremely proud to be uh, officially part of the, of the Mercedes family. Um, you know, it's a great, uh, great honor to race for, uh, for a team like that. And yeah, I really can't wait for, uh, for next season. I have one year of experience now in, in Formula E, uh, which obviously is gonna be very, very helpful to, to start the next one. Um, and yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's, a, it's an exciting project for, for every one of us, uh, together with Nick as well, who will be doing his first season in the, in the series. So uh, yeah, we're all, we're all very excited. Formula E have tried a lot of different exciting things. One of the more unusual of those has been Fan Boost. In all honesty, Stoffel, it's an area where you've absolutely excelled, uh, almost a clean sweep last year. But talking about social media and in the context, how important is it to Formula E? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been great to, uh, to always been up there and to, you know, to, to see so much support from, uh, from all my fans. And 
really, you know, that, that's what Formula E is about. It's about, you know, the fans getting close to, to the sport. We race in, in really big cities. Um, but really, it's, it's for the fans to kind of have a connection with, with the race. They feel like they can, they can have an impact on the result. And yeah, it's a, it's a great initiative. That one thing left to do, of course, the car. So, uh, Toto, I'll invite you back down here. Ladies and gentlemen, photographers, if I can have you at the ready. Ian, if you'd like to make your way down here. And Stoffel and Nick, if you head round to the front of the car, please.